In addition to reaching people through niche sites and local websites, journalism creators are increasingly connecting with readers and listeners through newsletters and podcasts, which allow them to connect with people individually in the places where they spend time every day, their inboxes and their podcast players. So I never really wanted to become an entrepreneur. Up until six months ago, I was working as the world's only sanity correspondent at The Correspondent headquartered in Amsterdam, where my mission was to use my personal experience of living through mental illness and build a new kind of mental health journalism, one that would establish that mental health isn't just about chemicals in the brain, but a complex social justice and human rights issue. Then in December 2020, in the middle of the pandemic, The Correspondent shut down, and I was terrified that I would lose both my mission and my loyal community of readers from around the world. So without much plan or strategy, I started Sanity by Thonmoy as a fortnightly newsletter. Today, it is a weekly newsletter and a monthly podcast supported by over 1,700 subscribers from around the world, many of whom are paying subscribers who help me sustain this project. My current preoccupation is telling radically hopeful stories about mental health, focusing on underrepresented communities, especially in the global south. Stories such as how a cash transfer program in Brazil is helping dramatically reduce suicide rates. I am happy and proud that my work is making a little bit of difference in this critically urgent area of human experience. And I'm very thankful to the Newmark School for giving me the conviction that this work matters. The first thousand days as a weekly newsletter lets me connect directly with my readers by reaching their inbox every week and asking for input. I write about the beginning of life and how it influences who we become later as adults. My readers include health and education specialists, parents and other carers. Their expertise makes my writing stronger. They suggest story ideas, but they also edit what I write. As I often say, 100 readers know more than me, one single journalist. And exchanging ideas with them is one of the elements that I like most about my work. Right now, I'm trying to make them feel like they're part of a community and that their concerns are heard. Hi, I'm building a data journalism newsletter for a mainstream publication in India. Uh, this newsletter will essentially be a story told through beautiful charts. By looking at data in newer and newer ways, uh, we intend to uh, add context and background to the curiosity of a business and finance reader, which is our core audience. Uh, but this, this exactly was the situation three months ago. Over the three months, the last three months, when I have attended the Journalism Creators Program, I have been able to take this idea from scratch to, uh, to implementation. We have just launched the newsletter two weeks ago. And in the coming weeks, we, uh, we plan to take audience feedback to take stock of how we've done. Uh, in coming months, we plan to uh, diversify our portfolio of digital products into podcast and video. As for me, the JCP has been instrumental in instilling confidence in me to go solo. Uh, a business plan is in the making and in, some, in, in, in a few months time, I would uh, see myself going solo and implementing my business plan.